ladies and gentlemen um, I'm here to show another one of my um, design team makes for Fernley designs um, now it's not the actual cupboard obviously it's uh, this I just decorated it basically with the the corners on the swirls and when I was doing this when I came to this one I was like oh and I saw something else in it which I'll show you in a second but anyway what I've done is this cabinet is um, has been designed by my friend Mandy, and I'll put the link below for her for her for the tutorial for this because it is absolutely brilliant and I love it. But I used uh, try and find it. Oh, it's here somewhere. Okay, I'm not going to have to find it because I don't know where it is. It's a rusty. It's like a rusty colour, a rusty hinge colour thing, but it was a dabber and it's definitely in there somewhere. Um, and that's what I've used on all of these. I coated, I painted them first with um, what's it, gesso, and uh, and then covered them with this with this rusty colour, which I really like. And I just did the corners. I also did this this was just a little um oval and i punched a hole in it using my crocodile and then i pounced it with some silver of the dabber ink sort of thing and then oh sorry i've lost it um and then i just used some rub and buff on it to try and make it look a little bit more aged and this is also uh, one of the keys from firmly designs which it's stunning isn't it it's gorgeous isn't it and again, I did it all in that same rusty nail colour or whatever it is. Um, and I just love the keys. They're so awesome. They're brilliant. But anyway, to get back to these, as I was playing with these, as I was moving them around and painting them, it suddenly came to me what I could see in it. And um, Because they come in different sizes as well. There's, a, there's, this, there's this size, there's a smaller one, and then there's a smaller one still. Um, but look... It's a Christmas bell. It just came to me and I was like, oh my God, of course it is. I can see it straight away. So that's what I've made. I just put them together and I thought if you buy them in the set, what a quick and easy Christmas tree decoration is that? Which is what led me on to my, my other video <laughs> of the Christmas scene that you've all probably just seen if you've watched it. But yeah, this is really cool, isn't it? It all just looks like a bell. It doesn't work with all the corners because um, some of the other flourishes are a completely different shape. But it is just that shape there that made me think of the bell. And then all I did was um, put some of the silver string on the scent on the the back on this piece here on the underneath whoops on the underneath bit there and then glued it down and then glued the, another piece another one of these on the top of it and then did the same on the other sides and I'm, I'm really pleased with that so I may be ordering some of these the bigger ones because I think they would make really great Christmas tea tree decorations as gifts for somebody so so there you go so there's my little design team make and um, if you haven't seen my other video for that one you see this is it was that bell that got me into making this and I'm really pleased with it so anyway if you haven't seen it please go along and have a look I would really love to know what you think about it and thank you very much for watching bye